Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add the digital signature Intel Prime in 2024. So today, we're diving into the process of adding a digital signature Intel Prime, which will allow you to enhance the security and authenticity of your financial documents. So stick around as I guide you through the steps by or step by step process of adding digital signature in your Tally Prime software. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and download this. First of all, if you don't have it downloaded, so to do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section, type Tally Prime and hit the enter button. Once you do so, make sure to click on this first link, which is download link. Of course, you'll not be able to use Tally Prime unless you have the license. So if you don't have it, make sure to click on buy. Go to the slice panel, just and check this server and developer. Let's just tell it prime and buy the license silver for single PC use and gold for multiple PC use. So once you buy it, click on buy, fill up your card information and buy your license. Then now you can go and click on download to download the Tally Prime. Simply just go and click on download and you'll have to follow the installation process or the on-screen instruct on screen instructions to follow or to download this on your into your pc once it's opened you will have or once it's downloaded you will have to go and open it up and of course you will have to go and activate your license if you just buy it or reactivate the existing li license or use the license forum network or simply continue in educational mode which i will use in this video well, it will not have a lot of like options, but it's still like good to see the interface of the Tally Prime. And the other steps, I will say them verbally. As you can see, make sure to go first of all and create a company. If you don't have one, you can connect to one, but for me, I will not be able to use this connection option. Uh, so just go and create a company. As you can see, you will have to create a company. So we'll have to enter the company name, then the mailing name address state country then enter the pin code the telephone the mobile and the fax of course followed by email websites financial year beginning from and books beginning from and finally and base the currency symbol and lastly the formal name once you finish everything just make sure to accept that and you will find your company right here now, once you have your company, of course, you'll be able to start like using it. So to begin, you can open a Tally Prime, go to the configuration model, and this is where you will find the settings related to digital signature and document security. Within the configuration model, you will have to look for the option to access digital signature settings. This might be labeled as digital signature or similar, so click on this option to proceed. Once the digital signature settings, or once you are in there, you will have the option to import your digital signature file. Ensure that your digital signature is compatible formats such as PFX or PKCS12. And of course, if your digital signature files is password protected, you will be prompted to enter the password to unlock it. Enter the password as required to proceed with importing the digital signature. Next, select the appropriate signature for the digital signature, and this could be your own name, the name of the authorized signature toward the documents. And after importing the digital signature and selecting the signatory, save the settings to apply the digital signature to your Tally Prime documents. Once the settings are saved, make sure to create a test document in Tally Prime, such as an invoice or voucher. You can generate the document and verify that the digital signature appears as expected. And even take a moment to review 
the digital signature settings and ensure that they meet with your requirements and make any necessary adjustments or corrections before finalizing. If you want that signature to be printed with the document, you can simply go here to the top and click on print, click on configurations, click on show more and make sure to have it on yes. Of course, just enter the name of signature in here and you will find it. If you didn't find it in here as an example this for just i because i have i guess because i have just the educational mode so if you have a license you will be able to uh, do it and other than that there are some options which is like you can configure that by clicking simply the f6 key and select the microsoft print to pdf so press enter to move the digital signature line plug in the dsc token and select the digital signature that you want to sign the document with and select yes or no for ask before signing of course those steps like will let you do so of course you'll find basically in, in export and here i guess if you go to configuration so it's not here but it's fine Make sure to simply just go and press the F key and you will find F6 key and you will should or you should normally find it. So you'll have after that to select yes or no for ask before signing. If you want to sign all the tally exports, just uh, check that option and choose the format of the signature. You will find it as something like this as an example. So as I said, I don't have all the options, so I'll not be able to show you exactly that, but it's fine for you. As an example, of course, you will have to uh, use a pen if you're using a pen uh, for your signature, as we said before, and simply export it once you f find it. Of course, you will normally find it if you print it in your documents. You can simply or, or you will always basically find it if you have it on. And yeah, I guess so that's it. So there you have it. You successfully learned how to add digital signatures in Tally Prime in 2024 bolstering the security and authenticity of your financial documents so if you have any questions or need further assistance don't hesitate to explore the tally prime support resources or reach out to their customer support team and if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section i'll try to do it as soon as possible if you like this video also make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more head for tutorials like this one and happy document signing and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye